on the 19th of November 1837, the funeral convoy arrived with the body of Queen Hortense, who had died on the 5th of October in Arenenberg, the place of her exile in Switzerland. She was the daughter of Josephine, who had married Napoleon's younger brother, Louis Bonaparte. She acceded to the throne of Holland with her husband in 1808, only to lose it two years later. Before she died, she expressed her wish to be laid to rest next to her mother in the Church of Rey. But it would be eight, nine years before the inauguration of a funerary monument commissioned by Louis Bonaparte to the Italian sculptor Lorenzo Bartolini. The statue depicts the Queen's kneeling in an attitude of prayer, her hands folded, wearing a sleeveless tunic and her head covered by a long veil. The base is covered with three bas reliefs, charity, virtue and death in exile. However, after the revolution, of 1848, her third son, Louis Napoleon, was able to return to France and discovered his mother's tomb. After his election as President of the Second Republic in 1848 and his proclamation as Emperor of the French, Louis Napoleon Bonaparte wished to embellish his mother's tomb and install her coffin in a dedicated crypt. So, in 1857, after renovations to the church and the construction of the crypt, under the supervision of chief architect Eugène Lacroix, both were inaugurated in the presence of the emperor and his young wife, Eugénie de Montiro. The crypt is in antique style. The stone covering the tomb is sealed. It is decorated with gilded beams palms and garlands, surmounted by the arms of the Queen of Holland. The crypt is decorated with medallions featuring a lyre and a palette, a reference for a gift for painting, thanks to the lessons she took with the great painter Jean-Baptiste Isabelle. The pilasters are decorated with H and E for Hortense and Eugenie. Two candelabras decorated with foliage and hydrogen flowers surrounded the tomb. Finally, a cenotaph stands opposite Josephine's tomb. This sepulchral monument to Queen Hortense was erected between 1854 and 1857 by the sculptor Jean-Auguste Barre. It adopts an architectural frame of the same type as that used for Josephine's tomb, and the monuments are placed symmetrically in relation to the choir.